Hi, this is Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse, and today we're going to set up the DRTK2 mobile station with the Phantom 4 RTK. So, pretty simple process, but uh, it can be a little confusing, so I'm going to kind of walk you through it. On the DRTK2 mobile station, there are three controls on the front panel. Going from left to right, you have link, power, and mode. These are going to be very important as we get into the setup process. So first thing we want to do is make sure we have a battery plugged into it. That's the same as the Crystal Sky batteries. Those all come with it. So get that charged up and installed in there. Then we're going to power this up. And just like an intelligent flight battery, I'll power this thing up. This is going to take a moment to initialize before we can move on with the rest of the process. But I will walk you through getting the software all set up, but it helps to kind of do a quick walkthrough of what these controls are first. So once we have it powered up, we have all the lights going on it, we can see what's going on. Over on the left hand side is Link. So right now it's in red, showing it's not connected to anything. I don't have anything else turned on. And once we get into the linking process, we're just going to push that once to put it into link mode. And now it'll flash between red and green, showing that you're in link mode. The other one that's important is the mode. We got to make sure that we're in mode one, which is for use with the Phantom 4 RTK. There's two other modes available, like if you're using it standalone or uh, in other modes, but we need mode uh, one, and that is the single green flash. Now, when I pulled this one out of the box, it actually was not on that. It was, let me see here. So, it was on um, actually a triple, or a triple green flash. So, I'm going to hold this again. It turns yellow momentarily. Okay, now I'm getting nothing. And one more time. Hold it until it turns yellow underneath there, kind of hard to see it. So now I'm on three flashing. Okay, one more time, and it's on mode one. So you want that single green flash to indicate that you're in the proper mode for working with the P4RTK. So next we'll go ahead and get into the software setup side and show you how to get these things working together. We're going to start by powering up the DRTK station and waiting for it to initialize. Then we want to check the mode LED and make sure that it's only doing a single green flash. If it's doing two or three flashes, then you want to hold down that mode button until uh, you, you'll see a, a yellow flash and then double check that it's just a single green. So we want to make sure we're in mode one. Once everything is set up, then we are going to turn on our remote. And the first time, we're going to go into the DJI MG app. And we'll go to execute operation. We'll go to the three dots. Select RTK. Turn on the RTK function. Switch to the RTK base station and confirm. Then we're going to come down to pairing and start pairing and then hit the link on the DRTK2 station. Okay, now they're linked up. The first time it will uh, do an activation process. So uh, just watch for that. Uh, I'm not going to go to do the aircraft now because I have a P4 instead of a MG. So we'll power down the remote. Power the remote back up. Power the P4 up. And now we're going to use the GSRTK app. We're going to go to fly. 
go into the settings, go to RTK, turn on RTK, select the DRTK2 mobile station, scroll down to linking, and again, hit the link on the DRTK2. You have to do this in the MG app the first time so that it will activate it. You can't activate it from the RTK app. So now it's going to want to link to the aircraft. So click on link with aircraft and then click on the link uh, button on the P4 RTK itself. And once those are done, you are all set to go. Now take the unit outside, make sure it's got clear view and everything will be good to go. Well, this has been Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse. I hope this is helping you to get your P4 RTK with the DRTK2 mobile station up and running as quickly as possible. As always, like the video if this helps you out, subscribe and click on the bell no notification icon to be notified every time we put out a new video. Thanks for watching and we will catch you next time. Bye-bye.